You're gonna hold hands, and you're gonna run at me as fast as you can. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tim, and in this video, you will be on top of my camera as I shoot an engagement session with a lovely couple and their dog in Grand Bend, Ontario. The purpose for this video existing is to show you how I like to photograph engagement sessions in terms of working with light, location, and posing. If you are looking to book me for your date, my website is listed below. And if you're a photographer who wants to see more of this stuff, please subscribe, like this video, do the thing. Let's get into it. Let's just watch. I'll watch along with you and I'll do a commentary. Let's do that. That's a good way to do this video. So here we are in Grand Bend, Ontario at the couple's family cottage. Uh, they have their dog. They're there for the week, which I thought was great because I always like to have my couples kind of bookend the session so it's not just this one event happening on the day. Like make a date night of it, you know? Like have a have a thing planned before and after. And and in this case, it was their week away. It was their week vacation, which was, which was awesome. So um, yeah, I usually start with my couples really simply just kind of kind of find the shadows in the space and get them looking at each other, interact with each other, going for a really simple walk. And every session pretty much starts out the same way with, hey, we're not really photogenic. We don't like being having our photos taken. And uh, I can relate. I'm the same way. And my whole job is to kind of get you to relax, to bring that guard down, and then we'll just take some really nice simple photos. And, you know, whatever happens, what happens. We'll build on what we kind of create whatever works, whatever feels right. And we'll just try to capture the best light and the best poses. Perfect, do you want to kind of sit? Um... So this wide shot I was really happy with. Um, we had a ton of time. I got there way earlier because I wasn't sure what the scene would kind of look like. I wanted to make sure I was able to capture things while the sun was still high in the sky in case there was a high tree line but it turns out they're right on the water and uh, the sun was going to set right against the water. So we spent a lot of time on the property waiting for that sun to get a bit lower in the sky, as you can see there. As with the dog, um, they wanted to make sure they got a couple of photos with the cat that they also brought up for the week. Ooh, yeah, cats, uh, cats and I don't get along, but I'll happily take cats' photos because they're part of the family, they're members of the family, and, uh, you know, cats are people too, just, <laughs> just like dogs, I guess. Um, no, it's super sweet. And I also use that space to kind of get an idea of what that framing and light would look like with the couple. So I we had the cat go back inside and we took a couple more photos with just the couple in that same exact spot. And these are some of my favorites from the day. Yeah, I like them a lot. They're really sweet, easy to interact, really, really easy to smile, which I liked. I usually have my couples do an activity um, if we can when we have a lot of time to kill. So they like to do puzzles and board games. So they brought out this, this unique board game I've never heard of before. And apparently it's a thing, I Googled it. It's a thing that's been around for a while. It's called Quir Quirkle, I think. Pretty sure it's Quirkle. Where it's kind of like a combination between uh, dominoes and Scrabble. Um, so you're matching up and you're getting runs of these different colors and shape combinations. Um, and again, we still had to, like too much time to kill in terms of waiting for the sun to get at a low enough point on the horizon where it wasn't just overpowering. So uh, yeah, I had them play a couple rounds, I guess. They didn't really keep score, but they, uh, you know, they took their time with it, enjoyed it. Um, finally, the sun's at a low enough space. I thought, let's go down to the beach. They had great beach access from the cottage, which was fantastically convenient. For this, they decided to get uh, shoeless and sandalless, which I thought was a good idea. You can see Jocelyn here rolling up Colin's cuffs on his pants. Um, and I just had them kind of stick to the softest part of the sand and walk down the beach a couple times with Gushu and without, yeah, just to get some nice variety. That's good there, guys. You want to turn around, come back this way? Oh, the pupper is such a cute dog. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I always like to give a couple of shots that are kind of focused on the dog. The dog's not the focus of the day, but it's easy for my couples to interact with the third party, I find, um, just in terms of a comfort level. And these are some of my favorites from the day as well. Just like loving on their dog. What a sweetheart. I always try to incorporate some kind of foreground element when I can. I like natural framing, and this tree was close enough to the beach that I was able to pull it down just far enough into my frame to get some natural frames there. And obviously, standing, sitting, running, <laughs> uh, whatever variety we can get on the day, there's this great log. So we got some photos of them kind of chilling and watching the sunset, which was great. Um, oh, there's Gushu again. Yeah, what a good pup. Some of my favorites of Gushu are in this. You'd think it was a Gushu engagement session, but it's not. I just really like dogs and uh, yeah. Oh yeah, this part. So the couple asked if they can go in the water. I said, yes, of course. And out of solidarity, I took my shoes off just because, you know, 
I want to get a bit closer to the water without damaging my shoes. Um, <laughs> and yeah, they were such troopers for this. I was so excited to hear that because I don't like to suggest things that might be outside people's comfort zones, but they seem to be totally into it. So uh, they asked and I said, yes, of course, let's do it. Um, which is always something I look for is, is couples who are willing to kind of uh, lean into the, the moment, I guess, uh, to take the leap and just adventure full tilt into to what's kind of happening and create some good images that way. So again, some of my favorites are, are right here, just in the water. And yeah, they wanted to run. So we did a running shot, which I thought was great. I just kept snapping as much as possible. The sun was a bit higher than I wanted it to be at this time, but I, th I still think it looks, it looks great. I I'm really happy with the way these images turned out. By this point, the couple's super relaxed, super chill, and just really enjoying the sunset. We just got off a week uh, in July where there was just so much smog, you could barely see the sunset. So this was like one of the first sunsets of the summer that they actually got to enjoy, which was super special. I thought, thought it was great that they got to you know, have that moment and also have it photographed. So yeah, that's, that's kind of the session. I, I cut a lot of it out of us just waiting around for the sun to go down, a lot of good conversation, um, and a few different frames that... Uh, you know, I kind of selected, I thought were the best of the best, but that's, that's the session condensed from about 45 minutes down to about six and a half. There it is. Thanks for watching this behind the scenes of how I like to capture engagement sessions. There's more behind the scenes videos on my channel, so go ahead and check them out and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content where it's couples and weddings and engagement sessions and commercial work and dogs. I love photographing dogs, so bring your dog to your engagement session. I think it's a I think it's a good idea. So that's it. That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching again. And I'll see you, or you'll see me in the next one. I won't see you. I can't see you.